My boyfriend was furious because his daughter tried to eat tape and I said, no, I live in a state that has been reaching 100 degrees every day. I don't have a house with air conditioning, so it gets very hot. I have a nearly $400 Arctic King unit that I thought would do us good. So we started to install it, and the heat made everyone cranky, including my boyfriend. I'm a very quiet person, so when I sensed he was getting irritated, I was patient with him. My little job in helping was to tear off pieces of duct tape and hand them to him while watching the baby, who he told me should be fine because she was on the ground with her toys. I was also hot because I had driven my car with no AC just an hour prior, so I listened to him and just handed him the tape. Within a span of maybe a minute and some change, she made her way over to his gaming setup and pulled his controller and headset off the table. Nothing hit her, but he said to me rudely, that is why you're supposed to watch her. Because if that would have hit her, I would have been upset. I passively said, I'm sorry I didn't know she was right there and I didn't know she'd get there that fast. He said that because of that, she had to come up on the bed where we were at. I didn't say anything, but I was trying to process how I was going to be able to tear tape, give it to him, and watch her or keep her from falling off the bed. So, in my mind, I had her close to me. She didn't like that I wasn't letting her try and fall off the bed, but I understand babies are squirmy and that's okay. Because she was put in one spot, she would grip my skin, pinch, and then scratch downwards. I didn't say anything to her for doing that, but I would make the typical TSS sound because baby nails are sharp when not cut in a timely manner. He stared at me with a displeased look on his face and said, she's a baby, she's going to scratch you, get used to it. I said that she was pinching and scratching me because I wouldn't let her off the bed and that it just stings because my sweat and the scratches don't mix well. I left it alone and carried on with handing him tape while he mumbled stuff under his breath. He would often jumble the tape and end up not being able to use it, so he'd throw it down on the bed. The baby would see that and try to grab the tape. I was able to grab it from her before she'd put it in her mouth, but she got fascinated with me tearing the tape off. She crawled to me and first tried to grab the roll of tape from my hand and then the little bit I had on my opposite hand. When she did this, he was not watching, so I calmly and quietly said, no. He immediately stopped everything he was doing, pulled her away from me, picked her up, and said, you're not going to talk to my daughter that way. If she's such a burden for you to watch, you can get your things out of my room. I went into defense mode and said, I just said no because she was trying to eat the tape. I spoke to her calmly, and she didn't even stop, that's how passive I was with her. He told me that since I didn't validate his feelings as a father and that because I was much more busy defending myself, that meant he was right about me having a tone slash attitude towards her. Why would I admit to something I'm not guilty of? I'm currently in my first trimester with my first baby, and I'm sick and very tired all the time. He told me to get my things out of his room, I pay rent and utilities while he buys whatever he wants, and that we were done. So I did, which included a 65-inch TV, a nightstand, and my king-sized memory foam mattress that felt like it weighed more than me, I'm sure I'm exaggerating, but I am 4 feet 11 inches. <laughs> and then an AC window unit. I told him if I move this stuff, there is no coming back from it and that he better remember that this was his doing. He had no problem with that. We argued while I moved my stuff, and then I went to my mom's house for a bit because emotionally I was not doing too great. When I came back home, I went to my room, and he would find little excuses to come in and say something until he asked me to help set up a baby pen. I said sure because I had nothing else to do. When I went in, we fiddled with it for a little while, and then he started talking about what happened. Why did you get so upset when I told you that you had an attitude with my daughter? To which I replied, because I didn't, and you made me feel like I won't be able to be a crucial role in my stepdaughter's life if you get so irate over a calm no at her. I can't be with someone who's going to yell at me every time I'm supposed to watch over a baby but not be able to verbally stop her from things that can hurt her. He did apologize for yelling at me and said he's just a dad and that when I have my baby, I'll understand. I looked him dead in the eyes and said I would never do that. That is over the top, and if I want someone to watch my baby, I'm accepting that they'll be told, no, stop, or don't do that. That's only natural. He brushed off what I said and then asked me if I'd be moving my things back into the room with him. I said no, that I told him there wouldn't be any going back on his words and doing. He told me he didn't need my help any longer and that I could leave his room. Did I do this right? He made me feel so insane for just trying to stop her from putting tape in her mouth. I didn't want her to choke or get the adhesive in her mouth, and it felt like I did the wrong thing in trying to protect her while I watched her and multitask. I really need advice. I feel so lost and hurt right now.